Well, hello again, it's Trudy here from Hot Patterns, debuting uh, not just my new hairdo, but our beautiful new trilogy pattern. This is one of our fast and fabulous range, which means that it's very, very quick to make and obviously looks fabulous when it's on. Um, now, this is the trilogy pattern and we've called it that because there are three elements to it. You get a top, this one, you get a tunic length and you also get a dress. So I thought I'd go through with you a few details on this, why it's so quick to make, why it looks so nice, and we'll have a little look at some different samples and see how to style them. So uh, a little bit of background for you about this particular style. When we were designing it, uh, we had certain criteria in mind. We really wanted to create a piece that was perfect for hot weather. I mean, sure you can wear it in cooler weather, especially with a jacket on top or something underneath, but really, for hot weather, this is what we wanted to do. And we really wanted to have something that you could just pull on. Just goes on over your head, you don't need to zipper it, or button it, or drawstring it. There it is, it just goes on over your head. And we kind of came to the conclusion that what would be good is kind of, kind of, a sort of a woven version of something like the Lestrada t-shirt, which this almost is. Um, it's got uh, some bust shaping which is taken into a deep pleat here through the front yoke. Um, it's got the v-neck which is super flattering on pretty much everybody and it's got the cut on cap sleeve. But of course this is designed for a woven. Doesn't mean you can't make it in this, you can. But it's designed for a woven because there's all those beautiful kind of blouse weight fabrics out there. Seems silly not to use them, don't you think? So. This is your very easy, very summary piece. This is, of course, the top version. It's just very, very simple. Like I say, it's really like a woven t-shirt. Uh, it's not baggy. You can see it's not baggy, but it's not fitted, fitted tight. It's kind of a relaxed fit. It's like a semi-fitted piece. And you'll find all the pattern pieces, when you look at them, uh, there's a little bit of shaping through the side seams and through the centre back as well. Uh, it goes straight down the front, but everything else is kind of shaped a little. So you will get a nice fit uh, no matter what your size is. You just make it fit you when you're making it. So, okay, this is the top version. Rather lovely, I think you have to agree. I'm now going to show you the tunic, and you'll see how a different fabric, a different colour and a different length makes it just... Not just like a, a variation, but a completely different look. So here's the tunic version. As you can see, just a slightly longer length, and it looks completely different. Um, this is a rayon crepe um, with a nice feather print. It's really pretty. Um, I'm very fussy about the prints that I use, so this one really caught my eye, and I thought, oh, this is the perfect piece for it. Um, and you can see we've got the kind of slightly rounded hem at the bottom here on the front, and there's a slightly longer but straight-edged hem at the back, which gives you nice variations. You know, it just looks a bit more groovy than just, you know, the standard straight hem. So a tunic version, super useful, especially for my evenings and weekends, and uh, very, very fluid and very nice and cool. Um, if you're wondering which pants I'm wearing with these, <laughs> these are actually my prototypes for our pull-on palazzos. I'll put you the link down uh, in the box below. Um, and I'm not showing you the waist area because they are the prototype and they're not perfect, but this kind of very simple straight leg, slightly wide leg pant, perfect for a tunic, perfect actually to go with all of these pieces with all of the trilogy pieces, just looks nice and long and lean. So now I can show you, I've shown you the tunic, let's go and have a look at the dress. So here we have the dress version. As you can see, it's simply elongated. Um, in fairness, I have actually squared off the slits at the front. Uh, the normal ones are curved. This one I've made straight because it's crinkled gauze and curved slits are always a bit tricky with that. Uh, but this is it, straight out of the envelope, nothing else done to it. The nice thing about this is, like I say, it just touches on the shoulder. Everything else just drops and it's really, really comfy to wear, especially when it's super hot. Now, um, <laughs> I'm not really a dress person, but I have to say this is definitely a dress I would wear. Um, and I'm also not a modelly person. You know, modelling for you isn't like my idea of a good time. It's not something I, I seek out. But I do know that it's useful. I know it's useful because you know, like most of us, I don't have a perfectly proportioned physique. Who does? Nobody does, really. Um, so I just think it's useful for you to see how our patterns look on someone who isn't, you know, very tall and very slim and very, you know, sort of 16-year-old runway model, far from it. So this is the dress, 
and as you can see, very easy to wear, very kind of fluid, and it's going to keep you cool for the entire summer. Now, apologies if you can hear the rain pitter pattering on my ceiling, but um, if, I don't, if I don't film this now, my hair's going to go from straight to curly, and we don't want that. So, um, I thought I'd show you a couple of quick uh, ideas for how to wear it and style it because it's a very, very, very versatile pattern. I want you to get the most mileage out of it you possibly can. Um, obviously, you can wear them like this, au naturel, nothing down the neck, just as is. Pick a really nice solid fabric that you like, pick a really beautiful print that you like, you're good, you're done. However, if you want to zhuzh up a little, here is how you do it. With the tunic, <coughs> you can wear, for sure, a longer necklace. You can wear a shorter necklace too. You can wear one that fills the V like this. Either of those necklace options are going to work. But there's also something you can do with the dress. I wouldn't really do it with the tunic. Although, I don't know, I guess you could. I'm not sure playing around with it. So, if you're going to wear the dress with a belt, I don't think you want anything else on this. Um, it's really quite a simple thing to do. I mean, you can wear a thick belt or a thin belt around the waist. If, you, if you're more of a hip belt kind of girl, and you might be, uh, you want a hip belt to be quite thick. It doesn't really work so well if it's um, real skinny. So, yeah. Belt to the waist, maybe a little blousing over. Really see how the mood takes you. This is kind of a tricky one because she's quite hourglassy. So if you are uh, less of a trim waist, this is definitely something you should be looking at. Thick belt around the waist, or a thin belt around the waist, or a thick hip belt, it'll look great. But if you do that, nothing else here, you don't need anything else. Bangles if you want, earrings if you want, you're done. So that is our beautiful, fast and fabulous trilogy pattern. Got the dress, got the tunic, got the top, now you need to go and